The Trojans and the Bobcats was the story that Trojan Arena had on display Wednesday night, and it was a classic. Well, at least it was for Trojan fans. After a pretty tightly contested first half, Troy went on a pretty good run in the final 10 minutes of the second half, which allowed them to pull away from Texas State and secure the hometown win. This has to feel good for head coach Scott Cross and his Trojans as this win snaps a two-game losing streak and moves that home record up to 11-1. and Speaking of Coach Cross, he gave us his overall opinion on how his Trojans did. Yeah, I thought we were really efficient offensively. Our guys uh, really shot the ball well. We were attacking the basket. Texas State's uh, typically they're a really good defensive team. They were being tough and physical with us. They did a great job battling the boards. That's usually been a strength of ours. We weren't able to get as many uh, offensive rebounds as we normally do, but we were active defensively and we got fit, turned them over 15 times and got 11 steals. So credit to our guys flying around and having active hands and, and active feet. And so it was a positive overall. I was pretty pleased with our performance. Troy shot 26 of 48 from the floor and seven of 17 from the three. They also locked in at the free throw line and hit an impressive 19 out of their 25 shots. The most notable player of the game would definitely have to be Miles Rigsby, who played 36 of the 40 minutes of game time, almost dropped a double-double with 20 points and 9 boards, and as a little icing on the cake, he also had 3 steals. Now I don't mean to be a downer, but I have to address the elephant in the room. At home, Troy looks championship bound, but on the road they just can't seem to get the wheels turning. Coach Cross discussed the possible issues with traveling and potential ways of remedying said issues. I think we, you know, we have a young team. I think we're one of the 30 youngest teams in the country. And so I think it's just a matter of figuring out how to win. You know, I think that's the next step. Uh, you know, defense, toughness, rebounding, it travels. So we have to continue to be tougher on the road. We have to continue to defend at a higher level. And then we don't, we, we need to be mentally just a little bit more relaxed when we're on the road. Nothing changes in terms of you're using the same, same ball most of the time, 10 foot goal. We just have to go out there and play with confidence. But I think the toughness, defense, and rebounding, uh, you know, those are the things that travel. And so we have to take that next step. And then I think it's just a matter of the guys like just learning how to win on the road. We did it the one time at Coastal, couldn't close them out at South and Southern Miss. They're hard places to play, but uh, we're going to win some games on the road. I have no doubt that that's going to happen sooner than later. Once the final buzzer rang out, 78 to 65 was the final score and sent the fans home happy. So all in all, I guess you could say that the night was a slam dunk.